Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Now for experienced techies, the hassle of reinstalling Windows is a pretty familiar one. In the old days, you had to set aside an entire day to like swap all the floppies. And then in the slightly less old days, you had to install off of a disk. I mean, I don't even have a disk to hold up and show you guys. That's how archaic that technology is. And then you had to download all your updates on like dial up or whatever. But nowadays, Windows has improved the installation process so much that reinstalling or even upgrading Windows is very quick and easy, and we're going to show you how to do it. Now, one of the biggest problems with the old ways of installing Windows is that you need this slow physical media, whether it's a floppy disk or an optical disk. And many of us, myself included, don't even have an optical disk drive in our systems anymore. But whoever wrote this script needs to remember that they're writing for me to say it. And I do have an optical disk drive anyway. The point is not that. The point is that if you don't have an optical disk drive, you can simply use an external reader. So you can just get a USB drive, which has the added benefit of being able to use on multiple systems. But you don't even have to go through that anymore. Times have changed. You can be up and running Windows in like 20 minutes these days. So for all of you that haven't installed Windows in a long time, those bottlenecks, like the disk read speed, are mostly addressed due to the advantages given to us by USB thumb drives. So the first step is to gather your ingredients to start cooking a Windows install. All you'll need is a 4 gig flash drive or more and the installation ISO. And an ISO is simply an image of a disk that can be easily copied onto a flash drive, turning it into a bootable drive. Windows does offer convenient ways of legally obtaining your own ISO if you have a retail Windows CD key. We are not condoning piracy or anything like that. It is just fine to download them. So the way to do that is if you have your CD key handy, all you do is go to Google search for, go to a Google search for Windows 8.1 ISO or click the link below the video for the official Microsoft guide. From there, download the Windows 8.1 setup program, enter your CD key, and it will download the ISO for you. No big deal. Once you've got it, the last thing you're going to need is the Windows 7 USB slash DVD tool. I know it says Windows 7, but don't worry, it works for Windows 8 as well. It allows you to create a bootable USB flash drive from any valid Windows ISO. All you need to do is start up the tool, point it to your ISO, point it to your flash drive, and it will do all the rest. Your flash drive will be formatted, so make sure you back up any important data that may be on it. Once it has properly mounted the ISO to your flash drive, the next step may or may not be necessary depending on your settings. With your flash drive plugged into a non-USB 3 port, you will want to boot onto it either by going into your BIOS or opening up the boot device selection during startup, which depending on your motherboard may be something like uh, F2, F11, F12, F8, and uh, it, kind of, it kind of varies from motherboard to motherboard, but you can find that in your instruction manual. After that, the installation procedure for Windows should be pretty familiar territory at this point. You just click your way through the wizard and you'll be up and running extremely quickly. Reading from a flash drive and writing onto an SSD, we've had an installation finish in as little as just 11 minutes. And even with a regular old fashioned hard drive, we were able to install Windows in just 24 minutes. So Linus, you might ask, why would I need to know this? Well, Installing Windows is a process that everyone, not everyone may need to do, but it's still something that it's helpful to be familiar with. And you can always refer back to this guide if it's something that you don't have to do now, but it's something you have to do later. And you can kind of remember, oh, wow, I remember that time that Linus did that guide on how to install Windows off a of USB. Wow, that was sure helpful. What a great guy. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Leave a comment below and let us know how angry you are about our neighbors. Apparently moving a bunch of heavy machinery while we're trying to shoot a video here.